This is a demonstration on how to create line differential relays in Aspen one-liner. The one-liners, line differential relays, are generic in, in that they are not exact duplicate of any manufacturer's uh, relays. The generic model is probably adequate for most purposes because within one-liner, there are no noises or distortions in the signals. So we will create uh, the line differential relays for this two bus system that you see in front of you. So I'll begin by right clicking on the line here to create a relay group. And within the relay group, I add a new differential relay. So let me give it a name, ABC, and also a CT ratio. So I could put 10 to 1, or simply the number 10 would also suffice. Now one thing I do not have to do at this point is to specify the remote devices, because we haven't uh, created anything before this. Now for the minimum enabling currents, I'm going to put a value of one amp. Now this is a secondary uh, quantity. So one amp for phase current, one amp for zero sequence current, and one amp for three I2, where I2 is the negative sequence current. I will omit uh, the next group, uh, says tap low coordination for the time being. And so that's all I have to do for now for the, to create this one side of the differential relay. When I press the OK button, you see this message that says that no remote device is specified. Do you want to close it? So I say yes. So now I just close, press the done to close the relay group dialog box. Now I'm going to do the more or less the same thing on the other end. Uh, right click on the line at the other end and I say new relay group. And within the relay group, I add a line differential relay. And this time I give it a, a different name. Now I could give it the same name because the name only has to be unique within the, uh, the relay group with other differential relays. So I again put 10 to 1 as the uh, CT ratio here. And I put 1 amp as the enabling current for all three uh, quantities. So now, at this time, I do have to specify a remote device because one uh, does exist. So I right-click on this button under Remote Devices and then select Select Remote um, Relays. Now, if you don't see your relay showing up on this dialog box, simply increase the number of tiers. Right now, I have it. One means that I, the, the dialog box will show everything within one bus back. But you could enter a bigger number uh, to until you can find the other end. So I found it and I say, oh, I, I do, do this common mistake. You need to right check on here and then click, press OK. So now you see the, uh, the relay name ABC on the other end showing up as one of the, re as the, as the remote device. So I click on OK. And then I click on done to close the relay group dialog box. So now I have created uh, the differential relay on both ends. Uh, just to demonstrate that it does work, if I were to simulate a fall in the middle of the line, so I click on here and, and say I want a line at 50% of, of this in the middle of the line, basically and simulate a single line to ground fault, you see a fault current of, of 6,000 plus amps. And if I were to click on this little relay time button on the toolbar, so you can see it here, it will show me that the differential relays on both ends trip instantaneously. So this is uh, how it's supposed to work, so, so that's good news.
So let me also uh, show you a slightly different scenario. In this new model, everything is the same except in the middle of the line, there's a there's a tableau, and the tableau is protected by by its own relay. So now the differential relay cannot trip instantaneously. If the fault were on this line, you want to give these relays over here some time to act. So, so what I'm going to do differently this time is I'll open the differential relay on one end. I say get info. I would tell the program to wait uh, one tenth of a second for both the phase and ground and negative sequence current. Uh, to before the, the line differential relay will act, will work. So so basically, this causes the relay to trip at 0.1 second instead of instantaneously. So I press OK to save this, and I'll do the same thing on the the other end. Open the relay. Enter the time delay, and I say OK. So now if, if I were to put a fault on this tab line, and click on this time button, now you can see that the time delay for the differential relay is 0.1 second instead of instantaneous. So this gives the, the relay at this location a time to trip for this fault. So this is uh, what I'm going to uh, talk to you today. Uh, but let me just mention one other thing. Suppose that you have a three terminal line instead of two terminal. The, the program has a provision for you to enter the third device, which is, which is right here. It's right now showing as not available. So that's, that's all. So this is conclusion of, of this demonstration.